Good morning, Kev from LeedsHarmonica.uk. What I'm going to do this morning is a super quick run through of um, your blues harmonica basics. If you're picking up a harmonica for the first time, you want to play the blues, what do you need to know? This is uh, sort of cribbed from what I'd show and talk about students with if they come to see me and say, hey, I want to play blues harmonica. It's going to go super quick. Obviously, there's a lot more detail we could go into but this is just going to be a fast run through. Here we go. Okay, this is a harmonica, correctly called. It's a 10-hole diatonic harmonica, um, often abbreviated just to harp, um, also known as a blues harp, folk harp, gob iron, Mississippi saxophone, tin sandwich, uh, moothy, if you're Scottish. The list goes on and on and on. This is the type of harmonica we're going to be looking at. So, First things first, how are we going to hold it? Very simply, if I just turn the camera around here, you are going to put your index finger along the top, you are going to put your thumb along the bottom, something like that. And you want, if your harmonica's got whole numbers, you want the whole numbers to run along the top there, and you want one to be right here snug in your left hand. This is where all the low notes are, this is where all the high notes are. And what you're going to want to do is to get your finger, your index finger, as far back on that top cover plate as you can. The reason being that when you come to play it, we want to have as much of the harmonica in our mouth as we can. We don't want to be like that. We want to be like that. Okay, so hear the difference in the tone. We want that nice, fat, round tone. So it takes a bit of time to get used to holding it, but that's pretty much what you want to be doing from the off. Okay, let's look at playing some chords. Okay, so when we're playing the harmonica, we use the terms draw when we're breathing in and blow when we're breathing out. But don't be fooled. We are not doing that sort of thing. What we want is a nice... You want all this to be open. You want nice, straight posture. You just want to... You want your throat to be nice and relaxed, your mouth to be wide and relaxed, and you want to breathe in very gently. And exhale very gently. Like that. Okay, so we're going to take our harmonica. I'm going to hold this in my right hand just so that you can sort of see what I'm doing. But you should hold it like that, yeah? Um, so, I'm going to put my mouth over the first three holes or so. If you get the fourth hole in, doesn't really matter. Um, and what I'm going to do is cover those four holes with my mouth, you know, nice and relaxed like that, and I'm just going to breathe in gently. Okay, you get a nice round chord there. And I am going to do the same on the exhale now, just gently, gently breathing out almost as if the harmonica wasn't there. You want to think like you're um, trying to fog up a mirror, you know, to, uh, you want that nice wide open air rather than, a, you don't want anything like that. All this should be tension free. This is uh, the exhale now, holds one, two and three. Nice and relaxed, trying to control the air. You want it just a nice round sound coming out there. So let's just go in and out a few times. I'm going to actually count. I'm going to tap my foot and I'm going to breathe in for a count of four, then breathe out for a count of four. Okay, and you can join in with this.
Uh, just a quick note, um, you don't want to be using a lot of breath force here. Your breathing in and out should be very, very gentle. Um, if you blow too hard, you will knack your harmonica very quickly. If you draw too hard, you're going to knack your harmonica very quickly. And the tone sort of wavers, plays a bit out of tune. If you play it way too hard, it sounds kind of nasty and horrible, but doesn't take much air and those reeds start vibrating. So gentle is the key. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in some articulations. Um, I'm gonna, on the inhale, instead of just, I'm gonna go ta, ta, but on the inhale and without the vocalization. So the tongue's bouncing off the roof of the mouth, right? To go ta, 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 ta. With the harmonica. It's one breath, one continuous breath, but the tongue to make that T sound is bouncing off the roof of the mouth, interrupting the airflow. And on the out breath, we're going to go two, two. Okay, so. Okay, let's make it even more interesting. On the out breath, instead of blowing holes one, two, and three, we're gonna blow holes two, three, and four, which means moving right one hole. And what you've got there, ta ta tu tu, is the basis of a very basic, but very cool, blues shuffle. Um, you can accompany a blues uh, doing this. So I'm going to demonstrate that now by putting this, I'm going to slow it down a bit there. Um, this is one of Jimmy Lee's jam tracks that I use all the time. I'll put a link down below. Okay, here we go. So you can start experimenting at this point. Try taking, um, not letting the chords ring so long by going. Play this all day. I love this stuff. Okay, so that is a uh, that's really really basic. It's taking you from the beginning of holding your harmonica and whatnot to playing some chords and uh, articulating your notes and jamming along with a little bit of blues. And hopefully that is a an hour's worth of <laughs> harmonica lesson uh, squeezed down into I think just over ten minutes. So I hope that was useful. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I hope that uh, you enjoy playing. Um, get in touch with me if you want lessons. Uh, go to leadsharmonica.uk and email me. I'll be happy to chat to you, talk harmonica, whatever. Um, I hope that was good for you, and um, I will be back with more at some point in the future. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.